All right, guys, what's up? This is Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. As you just watched, um, I just got done painting these wheels. You're gonna notice, yeah, it's pretty sloppy on that. There's a reason for that. If you look at these tires, they're junk. I bought these wheels. They're $50 wheels that I found on Facebook Marketplace. They're just old, white, plain steelies, as you saw at the beginning of the video. So I just wanna go over a couple things about it. Um, I got these at a really good deal, as I said, 50 bucks, going on my sidekick at, uh, I got one other video about, I'll post a link to that. That was just me degreasing the motor. But anyway, um, why this is relevant, so I just wanted to show you, it's probably 55 degrees outside. Um, a little cold to be doing spray painting. So I'll tell you what I did to make this work. So this is what I use. The, the Duplo Color High Performance Wheel Coating. I already did this on my son's little Subaru. Um, one thing you would do is if you're gonna be saving the tires, I'm gonna be swapping these tires out for a little bit smaller, actually one size smaller. But uh, one thing you would do is you would stick, what you can do, is you take little playing cards and you stick them along the edges like this. You stick them in there and then you can get a good line without getting any paint on the wheels themselves. So as you can see, it's a pretty good job. They're drying pretty well. Um, it is cold. I'm outside, uh, right outside of my garage. So, um, anyway, they're drying well, but my little trick that I do is I put these cans in warm water. Some of you guys might already know that if you've painted, you know, spray painted before with any sort of cold or just in general, you want to warm up the cans. So I let them sit in, uh, uh just a bucket of warm water, uh, above room temperature, not hot, but you know, warm. So probably in the 100 degree range or something like that. So I let them sit in there for a few minutes actually. And then I shake it really, really well, put it back in there, make sure all that paint inside is all mixed up. I'm shaking it throughout the process. Um, and I start, as you saw, I started with a very light coat. That is key to not bundle up your paint. Um, Cause these could turn out really, really bad if you just sit there and try to get this result right off the bat. You wanna do little coats and put about, you know, anywhere from two to 10 minutes really in between coats, just depends on the paint. Um, this paint in particular, I can usually do, you know, two to five minutes on in between coats. And then as I go, as I progress, you go with a heavier and heavier coat. That's how you get the best results. Also, another way to get better results is obviously do it in a lot warmer, anywhere from about 65, 75 degrees is really prime for painting, um, with spray paint, I should say. So. That's kind of my suggestions. The other thing is don't do what I just did, which was not wear a mask. That's not good. I held my shirt over my face and that's not necessarily always great. Um, but for a cheapo $50 set of wheels, I could have spent, you know, four or $500 for a set of black steel wheels. This is a lot cheaper of an option. And it was, plus it was harder to find some for my specific vehicle, which is a Sidekick Sport. Which, sorry about that, I actually didn't really cut out my video. So anyway, they have to be a 16 inch wheel to fit over my brake calipers and everything like that. So it was a little bit harder to find, plus with the bigger opening in the middle, Suzuki has a 108 millimeter center bore. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tried not to make it too long. We'll see what it ends up at. Um, anyway, I subscribe, like the video and share it. Peace guys, thanks for watching.